Welcome guys, Brian here from Terminated Gaming, and we're back once again on Hearts of Iron 4 with more historical ship designs, and like I said in the German video, if you guys want to see changes to these ships or you think they're wrong, I think they're wrong, leave a comment down below and I will try to get to them in the future and do a revamp video with your guys' suggestions. So getting started, we're going to start with the carriers, and the only carrier that the Italians have in design is a 1940 hull carrier which has 60 planes, two level 2 AAs, level 3 engine, and a level 1 secondary. Of course, this is the only one I could find in doing my research for this video, so if you guys have any other carriers of different time frame, let me know. I did not include if they bought carriers from other nations. I don't believe. Um, we'll see that in the future videos. Uh, their battleships, they only have two, and I changed one of them, I believe, to level two, if I remember correctly here. So their level one is the Andrea Doria class, I am definitely pronouncing that wrong, which I have modified to have three level one uh, batteries, which, because it's a level one ship, it has three sets of level two, uh, level two secondaries, and then a level one anti-air. It also has fire control system, level one engine, and level one armor. The next one is the Latorio class, and this one I have a level 2 ship sporting level 3 guns, so it has 3 sets of level 3 guns, 2 sets of level 2 secondaries, a level 2 float plane, level 2 AA, fire control system, level 2 engine, and a level 2 battleship armor. So you could of course always put this ship design onto a 1940 hull, but or you could just drop these down to the level 2, but the Andrea Doria had close to 381 millimeter guns, so hard to make this correct time period when the guns are unlocked at different times. Next, they only had one class of heavy cruiser, and you're going to notice that the naval treaties are going to affect a lot of these ships for a lot of these countries, so maybe spending your first 150 points to get out of the naval treaties might be a good option to use a lot of these designs, or change them to fit your needs. So the Balonzo class heavy cruiser has two uh, medium battery threes in this arrangement or this arrangement of course is a level two hull with level three guns it has one on the main battery slot and then one on the rear most slot it has level two torpedo tubes level one float plane two level one aas one on the front slot one on the uh, main row the fire control system, level 2 engine, level 1 secondaries, and level 1 cruiser armor. Now for the light cruisers, we have a couple different designs here, so we'll start with the lower uh, cost of production one, which is the Montecolisi class, I definitely butchered that. Um, so this one has two level 2 light batteries in the front and the rear, and then it has one float plane, one level 1 torpedo tube, one level 2 AA and one level 1 AA uh, fire control system, level 2 engine, no secondaries, and level 1 cruiser armor. The next one is the Duca de Gali Abruzzi class, which has three sets of light batteries, one up front, two in the rear, and then a level 1 float plane, two level 2 AAs, fire control system, level 2 engine, level 2 secondaries, and level 1 armor. And then finally, the Capitani Romani class. This one is a level 3 hull and it sports four uh, light batteries like the destroyer batteries in the arrangement of two up front, two in the rear most uh, sections. So one's kind of slightly a midship so it's right behind the front custom one, it's mid custom one. Mid custom two is a level 3 torpedo tubes followed by another level 4 uh, light battery, which is the uh, second to most rear, and then the rear two custom is mine lane rails, has level two AA fire control system, level two engine, no secondaries, and then level one cruiser armor. Destroyers, only two, you got level, a uh, level one destroyer, which has almost nothing, it's the Mastrala class, it has a rear mounted uh, depth charge, level one gun, level 1 anti-air fire control, level 1 torpedoes, level 2 engine, and the Orion, or Oriana, Oriony class, it has two level 2 torpedo tubes, a mine lane rail in the back, 
level 2 light battery, level 2 anti-air, fire control system, and a level 2 engine. And then finally, submarines, you only got one, you got the Calvetti Air Calvi class, which has a level 2 torpedo tube facing forward on a level 2 submarine hull, and a level 1 facing backwards with a level 1 engine. So, like I said, guys, if you have any corrections to any of these or want me to see any changes to them, let me know down in the comments below, and I will try to make those changes in a future video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around for more countries to come. Every major power will be covered, and I will see you guys most definitely on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down.